The Salvador Mundi is one of the most mysterious and controversial paintings in the art world. Its attribution to Leonardo da Vinci has been a topic of debate since it was rediscovered in 2005. Some experts have questioned whether the painting is actually the work of Leonardo, while others have raised concerns about the extensive restoration that the painting underwent before being unveiled to the public in 2011. Additionally, the painting's provenance is shrouded in mystery, with its whereabouts during the centuries it was lost unknown. What are the origins of Salvador Mundi? Let's try to discover more about this painting. Chapter 1 The Mysterious Background The Salvador Mundi was painted around 1503 and depicts Jesus Christ holding a crystal orb in his left hand while his right hand is raised in a gesture of blessing. The painting's history is mysterious, with its original commissioning unknown. It first appeared in the collection of King Charles I of England in the 17th century, who was a known collector of art. With the king's behaving, his collection were largely dispersed at auction. A Salvador Mundi of the Leonardo School reappeared in the 19th century in the collection of Sir Francis Cook, who then sold it to the Baron de Laurenti and subsequently to the Marquise de Janet in Paris. Chapter 2 The Rediscovery It was finally rediscovered in 2005 in a small auction house in Louisiana, where it was being sold as a copy of a lost Leonardo. In 2010, it was taken to the National Gallery, where Nicholas Penny, the director, invited four experts to evaluate it. The opinions were all positive, so it was decided to proceed with the restoration and to exhibit the work in the Great Monography Exhibition on Leonardo, which was held at the London Museum on 9 November 2011. The painting underwent extensive restoration before being unveiled to the public in 2011 and immediately caused controversy among art experts. Some experts have questioned whether the painting is actually the work of Leonardo. The attribution has so far been confirmed by four international experts, with unanimous opinions, but has been contested by other specialists. In November 2017, at a cost of $450 million, the painting was sold, making it the most expensive artwork in history purchased by a private individual. Chapter 3 The Composition the Salvador Mundi follows many of the conventions of Renaissance portraiture, with the figure of Christ shown in half-length against a neutral background. He raises his right hand to bless and with the left he holds the orb, a symbol of his universal power. The use of sfumato gives the figure a sense of depth and three-dimensionality, while the crystal orb held by Christ is a striking and mysterious feature of the painting. Some have interpreted the orb as a symbol of the world, while others believe it represents the power of Christ over the world. Chapter 4 The Restoration When the work arrived at the restorers of the National Gallery, it was in a very bad state, stained by ancient repaints and varnishes. Beard and moustache absent in the original painting were perhaps added after the Counter-Reformation to adapt the image of Christ to the official physiognomy. During the restoration, a pictorial quality far exceeding expectation emerged, with a chromatic richness that is entirely comparable to that of the Last Supper. The blues and reds of the drapery would be particularly rich. Comparison with version of the rock's pigments from the National Gallery yielded positive results regarding compatibility. Finally, reflectography and scientific analysis would confirm the analogy with the preparatory drawings. Chapter 5 The Significance The Salvador Mundi is significant for several reasons. It is a rare surviving example of a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest artists of all time. The painting's subject matter, a portrait of Jesus Christ, is also significant, as Christ is one of the most important figures in Western religion and culture. Despite the debates surrounding the painting, the Salvador Mundi remains a powerful and iconic work of art that continues to fascinate and intrigue viewers today.